Well, DMAC is still trying to get a handle on the cybersecurity incident that was first announced on Thursday. The school did have to close today. And as KCCI's Kayla James tells us, this left some students worried about what this means for their coursework. Yeah, Rhea, a majority of those students who are worried are the ones learning completely online this semester. They missed out on class both yesterday and today. A few of them I spoke with this afternoon worry about how long they can keep this up if the issue continues. I was trying to get back in there a good probably 20 minutes. First year DMAC student Lindsay Bolin found herself up against the wall Thursday morning as she tried signing in to get to her first online class of the day at 8 a.m. When she realized something was up, she quickly emailed the tech support team. They were saying that hopefully the websites would be up soon, but then they did email back because I asked if classes were canceled. Not even three hours later, Bowling got her answer through a call and this text saying all internet classes were canceled. And then the following text appeared less than 24 hours later on Friday morning, saying the school would be completely closed. This concerns me that I want to make sure I have enough time to get all my work done without like it being affected in quality. Corey Mathias has the same fears. He woke up Friday morning to find he was still barred from turning in seven assignments he planned to work on. You can't access Blackboard, so you don't know what your assignments are. You can't get any announcements. You can't talk to your professors. You can't ask for help. DMAC did send an announcement to students on Friday, assuring them faculty members are adjusting assignment and test dates. In a statement sent to KCCI Friday afternoon, the school outlined what they've accomplished in their two-day investigation so far. There's currently no proof student or employee information has been taken. Right now, they're focused on figuring out what happened, making sure the network is safe to use again, and getting back to being fully functional. DMAX says it may be a few days before they can restore their full functionality. And if forensic investigators find anyone's personal info was compromised, DMAX says they will reach out to those people and direct them to services focused on protecting their identity.